Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let me see the baby. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Let me see the baby. No, please. Hold on. Oh, please. Where is the emergency? Hold on. Let me see the baby. He's still blinking. He's blinking. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yes, there you go. Okay, he's crying. He's crying. Okay, he's crying. Hey, it's okay. He's crying. He's crying. He's crying. He's okay. He's crying. David Ten, baby's crying. Go on, go on, show it. Okay. 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 Yep. She? Yeah, she's breathing. She was crying a minute ago. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. She's okay. All right. Okay. Yep. I can feel. She's got a pulse and she's breathing. Okay. Yeah, she's fine. Yep. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate it. I, mean, I, I attribute all that to all the training that I've received what, from the police academy to training with my department and everything. I mean, I have to get to a, get to a scene, assess the situation. And if I start freaking out or if I can't handle myself or maintain my cool, then that just escalates everything for the family. And I mean, as you saw in the video, there was lots of family there. And it's difficult, is it not? I mean, you have special challenges when you're dealing with Yes, indeed. Um, and they're so tiny. I mean, you it, it's far different from a full grown human being down to an infant that fits in the palm of your hand or in my case, right on my forearm. <laughs> Well, when you're dealing with an infant, it's slightly different than dealing with an adult. And being that they're so small, um, the, the infant fit fits in the palm of your hand, essentially. And I had to first check the infant's airway and try to see if I could open her mouth and see if there was any obstructions in her throat. Uh, and then use, I would ultimately use my finger to sweep that out and try to clear it that way, but I didn't see anything. Um, at that point, if she, she still wasn't responsive, she wasn't breathing. As I said in the video, she was blinking. Um, but that was the only reaction that I was getting from the child. And I tried to reiterate that to mom because I'm all, ultimately at the same time trying to keep the family calm while also reviving their child. And I took the baby who was face up and I rotated her to face down on my forearm and I put her, put my forearm on my left thigh and gave approximately three back blows to the upper middle portion of the baby's back, which ultimately dislodged. 